One of the best and biggest changes is coming to Hearthstone Mercenaries in this next patch that I think a lot of free to play players or just basically anyone that wants to max out legendaries will be very grateful for. The change is all heroic level 30 bounties will now include at least one pile of legendary coins. Now it's important to note that this is level 30 bounties only, and I'll go through what that means, but that does mean that grinding for a specific legendary mercenary just got a whole ton easier. In case you don't know what it means by level 30 bounties, if you go to Felwood and you go to heroic, these are level 29 heroic bounties which means everything in here is not guaranteed to give you a legendary pile for doing it on heroic where if you go to any other spot past that in the winter spring or black rock mountain which i think in black rock mountain this is probably the biggest change every single character in here will give you a legendary token pile right at least guaranteed one so for this one you'd get uther guaranteed if you beat it on heroic this one you'd get the lich king or I guess Grom in this case as well. There is, you know, uh, Diablo, or if you're looking to do Alex Straza, it is really good to have this change. The reason why this change is so important is because it not only helps out heroic bounties to mean something more because the difference of you completing a regular bounty to a heroic bounty before this change was virtually nothing like you shouldn't have done it regardless unless you're looking for mysterious strangers on the felwood bounties but now there is a legitimate reason to do this i'm sure i'm not the only one here who has been farming up valera and just not getting a consistent amount of valera coins to the point where it doesn't really even seem worth it to do the bounty so i'm actually really happy with this change i think this is a step in the right direction in terms of what they need to do to not only lower the barrier of entry for hearthstone mercenaries but just make the game feel a little bit more rewarding. I think the part that probably frustrates me the most and probably a lot of people is when you complete a bounty and you don't even get the coins for what you're really looking for. I don't need any more rare coins. I think a lot of us can say it at this point in time, but this is a nice change because it feels better to do heroic bounties and you feel like you're actually progressing towards the mercenary that you want to do i also thought it was super important to just double check to see that you can actually farm up every legendary in the game currently at these level 30 heroic bounties so i'm just going through what is actually legendary alex garrosh grom jaraxxus malfir and reg lich king thrall and then diablo edwin illidan rexar sylvanas valera and Anduin, Gul'dan, Jaina, and Uther. So let's go see that we can verify that you can literally farm all of these legendary mercenaries from these level 30 heroic bounties. Let's do this by looking at the Winter Spring and the Black Rock Mountain bounties and see what we got. So I have a little sticky note on the side here that I will be crossing off and we're just gonna verify it, right? So let's see. We, in this one, we have Rexar. So Rexar is good. We have Garrosh in this one. So Garrosh is good. We have Rag in this one, so Rag is good. We have Thrall, so Thrall's fine. Alex is fine. And then we have Jaraxxus, which is fine. Okay, so at the moment, we're six for six on this, so that's pretty good. Obviously, you know, each each bounty has a legendary one, but you know, I'm going to double check. We have now on Black Rock Mountain, we have Uther, so Uther is good. And then we have Sylvanas, so Sylvanas is good. We have Diablo, so Diablo is great. We have Jaina, Jaina is off the list. We have Illidan, which is great. We have the Lich King and Grom. So this one has the potential to give you one or the other, which can be a little bit infuriating, but at least it's one or the other, not, you know, just one, I guess. Uh, so they're both off the list. We have Malfurion, so perfect. If you need to farm up Malfurion, you can. There's Diablo again. So Diablo is off the list twice. We have Edwin, which is one of the new bounties. So yeah, Edwin should be here. And then we have Lord Jaraxxus again. So Jaraxxus is here twice. We have Gul'dan, so Gul'dan's off the list. We have Alex, so Alex is definitely there. And then we have, v I think this is just Valera, right? Yes. So everyone is off the list at the moment, except for one legendary mercenary that you're gonna have to farm less than a level 30, which is, which is Anduin Rin because for some reason he's in Lorne Bane Hollow. So this is kind of unfortunate because if you do want to play Anduin, it's going to take you basically double the amount of time to get 
Anduin and then maybe Maxim because it will take a little bit more of an effort. But I mean, if you've been farming Mysterious Strangers for a while, and maybe this is why they consciously did it, like you're probably going to get Anduin tokens regardless. But it is a little bit unfortunate that he's not in a level 30 bounty. Maybe we just uptick this by one wizard and then he will be in a pretty good spot for legendary mercenaries so the real question is now is this enough of a change to help propel hearthstone mercenaries into more of a free to play less huge time grind in order for you to get more mercenaries and i think probably not i think the idea of having a guaranteed like legendary bounty coin thing is fantastic but the main issue I still see here is that this is not the optimal way of actually farming legendaries because it is going to take a lot of time to get through some of these. Blackrock Mountain is extremely long. Actually, let me show you how long Blackrock Mountain is. So to give you some comparison, I'm just going to look at Snowclaw here, which is already a pretty long bounty for heroic. And if we look at it, like that's a long way to go, right? That's not a small bounty, right? Arguably you can cut a couple fights here, but it's still going to take some time. Plus you still have to fight the final boss. When we go to Blackrock bounties and I'm going to look at, I don't know, any level 30. So we'll just look at Cormega. Sure. Look how long this bounty is. It is an extremely long bounty. And I, again, I can cut a couple fights here and there, but it's still going to take you quite a while every single time. So sure. Percentage wise, maybe it got decreased a little bit, but the overall workload is still going to feel like quite an immense task. And a lot of players who just want to get to these legendary mercenaries are going to feel very overwhelmed with the idea of running back heroic bounties over and over and over again. Now, I don't want to say I'm just dumping on this change because, you know, it's so tiny, like every small incremental change is going to add up into something ginormous. So I'm actually really appreciative that blizzard is taking these small little changes to help the game feel a little bit less overwhelming and overbearing to actually get some of these mercenaries now i think a really good change to add on to this and this is something that i notice a little bit more is farming epics i honestly feel like farming epics and legendaries are not that much different because sure it is a little bit more likely that you'll be getting an epic bounty bundle for completing a bounty but it's still going to be really hard so I would really appreciate the change as well to just add a guaranteed epic thing as well because then it feels a lot less like oh my god i have to do this so much for both of them where at least we get the guaranteed for both the legendary and the epic i think that would be a ginormous change getting a legendary reward is really cool for like heroic bounties but this isn't actually like the most optimal way of doing it if you consider that most of the time you're probably going to get one legendary reward which is around probably about 20 coins on average so let's think how long this would take if i'm playing my best farming comp and i'm playing as fast as i possibly can probably gonna take me around 10 10 minutes or so probably to beat this depending on how rng is and stuff when in reality the fastest way of doing this and getting just the same amount of coins for less work is is going to heroic in the barons and going to the ferocious quill bar and doing this if you make a mercenary comp i'll just delete i don't know nature for sure and let's say i was just for this case i'm farming grom if i put grom as the only mercenary on my team and i queue this bounty up which if you did not know you can actually do this with just one mercenary you can you are guaranteed to get 10 coins at the end of this bounty but look at the difference here there is two fights max excluding the heroic guy and i'm getting guaranteed 10 coins every single time so is this change welcome absolutely is this going to be a really big difference that you're going to notice maybe over a thousand bounties sure but i think hearthstone mercenaries especially as the game showcases more mercenaries and as they're added into the game should really you know amplify the amount of consistency we can get from these coins to make the game feel like a more rewarding experience instead of a very dull grind anyways that's it for me i hope you end up enjoying it and thank you for watching the entire video if you got this far you look actually fantastic and i'll see you guys in the next one